Hello everyone and welcome to the third day of our Kelly and Charlie sew along. Today we'll be gathering the front, sewing the side seams and um, doing the, if you're doing the facing, you're also going to be doing the burrito roll method for the neckline today. I'm doing the elastic so that's what you'll be seeing in today's video. Let's start by gathering the front. So, when we've sewn yesterday the front, you, you notice that one side is shorter than the other. So we're going to need to gather the longer side, as you can see, significantly, significantly longer. We're going to need to gather this to match this part. So for that, I'm going to run two gathering stitches from about half an inch away from the bottom. We don't need the gathered in the seam allowance. So I'm going to run two straight stitches. There are, uh, I do my gathering stitches with the longest length and lowest tension. So five millimeter and zero tension. And without having the um, needle engaged. So my first one is at, 3 eighths of an inch. You want one that is in the seam allowance and one that is outside of the seam allowance. The pattern follows a half an inch seam allowance. So that's why I'm doing one at 3 eighths and one at 5 eighths of an inch. This way I can easily pull the outer one. If you have a facing right now on your, uh, if you're opti if you opted for the safe facing one, you're going to run your basting stitches just on the outside. So right now you'll have a facing on this side. You were not running basting stitches on the facing, just on the outer fa fabric. Okay, you can see the two basting stitches. Okay, so now we're going to pull on the bobbin thread and gather them so they are uh, matching in length with the other side. Having two rows of stitches will help you get even gatherings and will also help you in case one of the threads pop. Not really the case when the area is so short, but if, you're, if you gather a skirt, then definitely you should have two rows of stitching. There you go. So let's match with the other side. And I'm going to run a basting stitch just to make sure it stays in place. And you want to run a basting stitch through the facing and the gathered part. If, you're up, if you have the facing option done. Okay, so I'm going to tie a knot at the top just so it doesn't move anymore. Because once I figured out my gather and how tight I want them, I want to make sure that they stay in place. So I'm knotting the top and then I'm going to be knotting the bottom or just running a basting stitch either way. It's a pretty tight gather I see. If I'm matching this. Okay. So let me knot the bottom thread and I'm good to go. Now we're going to overlap and you want to make sure when you overlap that the ruche part, the gathered part is on the outside of the dress. So for that, I'm going to lay my fabric like so, and I'm going to bring the non-ruched side and match. I'm working on the outside because it's easier to see, but then I'll flip it to sew. So I'm going to match the notches right here. Okay, just want to make sure you're in focus correctly. Okay, so I'm going to match the notch right here, and I'm going to pin in place. 
Okay. Good. Now I'm going to bring the ruched side on the other side and I'm going to clean in place. So this will guarantee me, this is why I'm working from the outside, will guarantee that the ruched part is on the outside. So I'm going to bring it here and match it to the other front. Okay, so now I have my front, I should probably uh, cut these basting threads. So on the other side of the front, I'm going to pin this in place. Just front overlapping front. And same thing on the other side. Front overlapping front. Okay, right here. Let's see. Make sure that my front is overlapping the front, not the back. Yeah, it was on the back. So you want front overlapping front and pin in place at the notches. So now I have my front overlapped and I know for sure that my ruched part is on the outside. So now is where I can bring them right sides together. So now I can uh, go to the side seam and pin right sides together. My side seam that it's already overlapped on this side, right sides together here. I find that if I do that extra step to overlap the fronts first from the outside, there's no risk of uh, me not having the um, uh, ruched part on the outside. And right now I'm just doing side seams as normal right sides together. Same thing on the other side, keep this pinned as they were and bring your back right sides together and pin in place. And for the next step I'm going to use um, stretch stitch and go very slow at the part that has the ruching because you not only have three layers of fabric but you also have uh, the ruching that adds extra bulk. Okay, so this is on the other side. Let's stitch this down with a half an inch seam allowance. so easily. I did a straight stitch instead of a triple stretch. So let me run that over again. I was wondering why it goes so quickly. So we're going to do a triple stretch stitch. Miles. 
beautiful. So this is what it looks like. I'm obviously going to snip those notches. I don't need them anymore. Gorgeous. Let's repeat on the other side. Same thing. This one does not have any ruching, so it's a little bit easier to stitch. out so you see how beautiful it looks and now the ruching is on the outside so and I didn't have to worry about that what you can do right now and I think I'll do it you can baste the bottom this way when you attach the skirt you don't have to worry about making sure all the layers are stuck together so let me do that right now so I'm matching the front because the front has two uh, fabrics overlapped so I'm matching the bottom of the front like so my goodness this fabric is gorgeous gorgeous basting stitch and I'm also going to split my seam allowance and keep it try to keep it open I'm just uh, attaching the two layers to keep them in place before I attach this third in a couple of days so I don't have to worry about it moving around on the other side I'm opening up my side seams as I did yesterday I'm going to press my seams open with a with a press cloth because I'm using this gorgeous velvet and then uh, you see this one is pressed open and it looks so pretty and you are done for today I can't take my eyes off the sparkles. <laughs> I'm such a girl. <laughs> All right. So this is my front, uh, my bodice without the sleeves added, with the bottom basted. Tomorrow we'll be adding the sleeves, or if you're adding the, if you're doing the sleeveless tank, you're going to be adding elastic to your arm, um, and then on day five will be working on the skirt so i'll see you back here tomorrow for working on the arm part talk to you soon bye